Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. And we're on location today, and I'm going to be interviewing Chauncey Jenkins. Chauncey has an incredible story. My goal is for you to listen to his story and see how we can help your life. Hi, Chauncey. How you doing, Val? I'm so glad to talk with you. You know, you're the most positive, upbeat person that I have met in a very long time. Well, thank you, thank you. But you've got an incredible story, and I know my audience is looking can see a part of that story. Can you give us just a little bit of your story? Well, basically, I've uh, never had any health issues or anything like that. And one day came home from work and did my usual routine, showered, ate, went to sleep, and found it uh, not impossible to get up the next day. I couldn't shake off a, a tired feeling. I was tired and uh, just unable to get up and go to work. And it turned out that I, I ended up going to the emergency room. and. Uh, I, I somehow, somewhere, uh, not knowing, but contracted a blood disease called uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation. DIC is the acronym, but uh, it caused clotting in my blood and uh, caused me to lose functionality in my feet and hands. And like I said, no blood flow whatsoever, which resulted in um, them having to take my hands and feet up to my knee on the left leg. Uh, had they not done that, I would have would have died. It would have consumed my whole body. So you entered the hospital a fully functional human being. And when you were released, and then you, I, I think you entered in May. In May, yes. And when you came out in August, you were minus four limbs? Absolutely. I, uh, I was in the hospital for two to three days without there being a diagnosis. They didn't know what exactly was causing this uh, blood disease, or that it was a blood disease. They didn't know what it was. They just, uh, they when I went in, they, they kind of diagnosed me as having, uh, to, was suffering from uh, dehydration. So they start pumping fluids into me and pain, uh, some pain meds, some Let me super ask, strong pain meds. So you were in a hospital quite a while. Did you have a hospitalization insurance? No, actually I did not because uh, I would say Poor decision making, bad choices. I, I chose not to accept the packages that I've been offered on various jobs um, due to the fact that I, I was never sick. I mean, I, I, and that was, like I say, bad decision making on my part because uh, I took it for granted that I, I would be healthy. I mean, you know, I just, I, I, I didn't anticipate getting ill and financially it just wasn't feasible. I mean, you know, the, the money that they'd be taking out of my checks were was a little more than I was willing to to, to uh, give up. But looking back on that, you know, I, you make a different decision. I would make a different decision and recommend anybody with that opportunity to 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 get insurance to go ahead and, and take advantage of that. You know, because you don't want to be caught without it and you know be facing a couple million dollars worth of bills, which is what I'm looking at. Could I ask you, is, is that your recommendation to people who are watching this now? Definitely, definitely. I definitely recommend that if you're on a job and have an opportunity to get insurance that you do so, because you never know what's, what's around the corner. You never know what's going to happen. What do you see for your life in the future as we wrap up? Well, uh, I'm thankful to be here and have a future, first of all, but I see myself doing um, doing more for God. I mean, um, taking advantage of my my time rather than taking taking it for granted, you know. Because uh, I don't have any regrets, but if there were anything I could change, it would be my time management. And 
uh, I would I would uh, take life a little more seriously and and use my my time wisely, you know, doing it to to help others actually, you know. Well, this is for all of us. I I'm going to take this as a recommendation from Chauncey, use my life better, make better decisions, and definitely work on having health insurance for definitely. you know, individuals. Definitely. We all need that. Definitely. Chauncey, you are just such an inspiration, and I'm not saying that you know I believe that. Yes, I want to thank you so much for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. Your words are touching someone at this moment. Your words are going to make a difference. And those of you who are listening to Chauncey, Chauncey, is there a place where we can find out more in the future? Are you going to have a website or something? I will. At the moment, I do not. I'm, it is in the workings. And uh, I'll say just stay tuned to Valder because she'll be a part of it. All right, then. You heard it directly from Chauncey on the Valder BB Show. And take those recommendations seriously. Thank you.